Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Hope everyone is having a fantastic day. We got some exciting news leaked to us today by the awesome people of the Ram TRX forums. The TRX forum community is an amazing place to magnify your TRX experience. So if you have a TRX on order, if you're considering one, there's a ton of information on the forum, so definitely consider joining that. It's just a great source of information and getting up to speed with the latest and greatest of the TRX. So today's video is going to talk about the next special edition of the TRX. The information leaked that I'll recap today will be about the Ram 1500 TRX Sandblast Edition. We'll go over all the currently available information, so without wasting any more time, let's dive right into it. And while you're watching this video, if you have a button at the bottom of the video that says subscribe and it's in red, definitely click that button so it turns gray and says subscribe because I could definitely use a subscribed. It would go a long way in helping me grow the channel and the platform. Just to establish a little bit of baseline, the Ram TRX is the apex predator. Ram made the TRX to take on and take down the Ford F-150 Raptor. And after a decade of reigning on the off-road performance truck market, the Ford Raptor was definitely dethroned. I've owned both, and it's not even a close fight right now. With that said, we know the Raptor R is coming. It's been confirmed. The leaks are true and valid, so it'll be interesting to see what comes on after the fact from Ram. But as it sits, the TRX is the apex predator. In 2021, the Ram 1500 Launch Edition was a limited production count that launched with 702 units in Anvil Gray. 2022 saw a special edition in the Ram TRX Ignition Edition, which was also a limited production count in Ignition Orange. With this next Sandblast Edition, if I really want to get a special edition truck, I think this is probably a really cool truck to get into. And to continue the trend of these limited production count special edition Ram TRXs, Ram's introducing the Ram TRX Sandblast Edition, which is what was leaked today. And we have limited info, but I'll go through all of it. The truck will be in Mojave Sand, which is a similar color to something that they offered in the Jeep Gladiator, which was called Gobi Tan. So this color is something that's part of Stellantis' color palette. And that's what Ram seems to be doing with these special edition Ram trucks. And the reason why I think this leak is very valid is it's actually leaked right from Ram's website. So those who aren't tech savvy, there's a thing called CMSs, they're content management systems where they template out certain templates and then the content is updated by marketing and pushed out to the production site. What looks to have accidentally happened is Ram deployed a bunch of information and some information of that was probably working in a dev environment that got deployed to production and Google being Google cached that. So that cached page on Ram's website has a ton of pictures, a ton of information outlining what the Sandblast Edition is, which makes all this information very reliable. So as you guys can see in the pictures, this is obviously a Mojave sand exterior color. It complements the monotone grill. The big thing to talk about here is the front fascia and the grill's been blacked out. So if you're a part of the TRX forums, you'll probably know that you can take the Ram Rebel blacked out front skid plate and move that over to the TRX and it's going to fit just fine. It looks like Ram has done that with the front end of the Mojave Sand Sandblast Edition to kind of make that black theme more monotone. Additionally, these special editions tend to have the factory wheels with some different coloring options. So in this case, you're going to have a black 18-inch beadlock wheel. It's the same spoke design as the traditional beadlock, but this is going to be blacked out to continue that black trend. It will be interesting to see how they do the uh, color breakup because if you look at two of these pictures from the back, you can see that there's a black lower half, but at the same time, this picture shows that it's all monotone and the entire side of the vehicle profile is the body color. Similar to the Ignition Edition, you're going to see a significant amount of changes to the inside as well as the outside. So on the inside, you're going to have a unique stitching color. It's going to be the same flat bottom steering wheel that we have in the current Ram TRX. But this is going to come with carbon fiber accents that have infused that Mojave gray theme as well as a light frost stitching to contrast in the seats. I was hopeful that at some point they introduced a Recaro style seat like the Raptors. I do miss that about the blue interior from the Gen 2 Raptor that I had and the Gen 3 Raptor also has that bolstered Recaro seat. It'd be cool if Ram offered that as an option, but you can see these seats are fantastic. The stitch work is going to be great and the color theme of the outside carries over to the inside. Here we get a quick glimpse of what the Sandblast Edition's badge on the center console is going to look like. This is very reminiscent of the Ignition Edition, which had a lot of orange text. This has that Mojave Sand color that's going to be your font color with the brushed aluminum finish around. 
Here's a little bit of a closer look of that 18 inch beadlock wheel that's in black. I think it looks fantastic, but another angle that shows us the truly monotone down the side. Now this leak does say 2022 Ram TRX Sandblast Edition. I really don't see this being a 2022 if I'm being honest. This goes back to my CMS point earlier. Some of this information is templated, so the model year may be filled in dynamically from some variable field. Everything that I've read so far, everything that I can think of, everything indicates that this is going to be a 2023 limited edition. 2023 cutover is sometime at the end of the summer, so August to September-ish, so I can't imagine that they're going to launch this edition, put it to production, and put it in the hands of the consumers within the next two months. So it's safe to say this will be a 2023 model year edition. In terms of production quantity, my best guess is this is going to be limited production like the Ignition Edition and like the Launch Edition. As you can see here, part of this leak does say that there's limited inventory. And given that this is a special edition truck, I really think that this truck is going to be limited production count. In terms of pricing, this will definitely tip the scale of $100,000 easy the base price of the Ram TRX from the time it launched in 2021 to now has now increased almost ten dollars to $11,000. That's just the base price alone. So when you factor that in, factor in previous editions have a trend of being level 2, fully optioned out, sunroof, all the options you can imagine short of accessories, and this base price increase over the last one model year, it's safe to say this is going to be a fully loaded north of $100,000 edition truck. And thanks to the amazing work of Triple B, who is a godsend for the TRX community and the Mopar community in general, Ram probably spent $100,000 plus. Honestly, it could be in the hundreds of thousand dollars for a new tracking app, which is something Triple B has been doing for free for the Mopar community for years now. And so a big credit and shout out to him for sourcing some of this information for us. We have three vehicles that we know of that have been produced in this Mojave Sand Clear Coat exterior. Based on the information that we have, one of the three vehicles has been made for US spec, one of them has been made for Canada spec, and one of them has been made for Puerto Rico spec. And again, huge shout out to Triple B because of his hard work. We have the US spec window sticker with us to kind of walk through. You can see that the, one of these vehicles was made in Mojave sand exterior and labeled as a black interior, but it's going to have that unique frost stitching to complement the Mojave color scheme. In terms of pricing, the TRX Sandblast Edition looks like it's going to be a $9,200 package that's going to include your graphics package as well as the bed utility package with the deployable step and the cargo tie downs and the spray and bed liner. Additionally, the $9,200 is going to get you the dual panoramic moonroof, so it looks like that standalone option is now going to be part of the Sandblast Edition. As well as it looks like this truck and all three that were produced were level 2 trucks that, again, I'm, I think this is going to be a fully loaded truck like the previous special editions were. And so the level 2 equipment group is now a $10,295 option. And between those two packages and destination, you're already at $99,000. So going back to what I said originally, you're almost at $100,000 with this truck with just the two base packages and destinations. So if you add in running boards, you add in the ram bars, you add in rock rails, any of those options and accessories are comfortably going to put you well north of the $100,000 tick mark, which is where and how I expect most of these sandblast edition trucks to be spec'd. And one really cool thing is there's another YouTuber. I'm going to link his video up in the top right corner as well as in the description below. Definitely go check out his channel and subscribe. His channel is bigger than mine. His channel is called Cali Chan. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. He's another source to corroborate this leak from Ram's website. He does a full walk around and inside of the truck to show off some of the stuff. I didn't take any of his footage because, you know, I want to give him the credit for what he found. But definitely check out his video to get a full in-depth look at this truck. It's, it's amazing that he was able to get this footage for the Ram TRX community. And my personal opinion is this is a very sharp looking truck. So it'll be exciting to see how Ram loads this out. And hopefully it's a better buying process than the Ignition Edition turned into for the later half of consumers. Basically clamp down on a lot of the ADM. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below of this special edition truck. Do you think it looks good? Do you think it looks bad? I'd say I think I like it better than the Anvil edition, or rather the Anvil on the launch edition, but I still think I'm a little biased to the Ignition Edition Orange. Maybe for those that have subscribed to the channel and been following my automotive journey, I've been trying to get an orange car for the last couple years. I got shafted on the C8 for that. 
I backed out of my Bronco order because of COVID and the TRX showed up so late. I wanted to own the TRX for a little bit longer and now I just don't want to own anything else. And the Z06 is a couple years out. So the Ignition Edition TRX was something that I really wanted and I thought it looked really cool. So I'm a little biased to that orange, but I still think this is a fantastic looking truck. To offer a little bit of uniqueness to what is honestly the best daily driver vehicle money can buy on the market right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. If you have not already, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. And as always, until the very next video, I look forward to seeing all of you in the comment section below.